Team cars are the nerve centre of a professional cycling team on a grand tour, so let's have a closer look at the Orica Scott team car. First up, let's have a look at the outside of the car on the roof rack. Now, Orica Scott got eight bikes on top, four complete bikes, and four bikes with the front wheel removed. Now, if you look a little bit closer, these bikes just aren't put on the roof in any particular order. Oh no, there is actually a strategy for putting bikes on the roof. So all of the protected GC riders will have their bikes on the outside. Now, on this side of the car, we have Roman Kreuziger's bike, also have Esteban Chavez. As you can notice, Chavez's bike is just that little bit more accessible being on the outside of Roman Kreuziger's. Now, if you just head round the back here, as well as the eight bikes, we have three front wheels and three back wheels as well. And moving round to the other side, Simon Yates, unsurprisingly, on the outside, easiest to get to, as I mentioned before. And then we have Darrell Limpy's complete bike as well. And on the inside that needs the front wheels, we've got Matt Haymans and Michael Albacinis. As well as accessibility of the bike being vitally important, as you can see, Gears have been pre-selected for a nice easy gear for the rider to pull away in. So on this one, on Simon Yates's bike, big ring, third at the back, so it's like 53, 19, nice and easy to accelerate. No worries about selecting gears and that's sort of losing vital seconds. As with most team cars at this level, they've also got a full-on satellite system so they can watch the race as it unfolds on the TV inside the car. Another couple of aerials as well. You've got race radio, and of course, rider radios for talking between the teams themselves. Well, we've had a look outside the car. Let's have a little look inside. This, of course, is where the director sportif will sit. Quite often, there'll be another director sportif sat just here, whilst the mechanic sits in the back. So let's focus on this, essentially the nerve center of the car. Now, interestingly, Right in the centre of the steering wheel here is the profile for yesterday's stage, and that was actually stage nine. It's not only um, where the climbs are, but they've actually got the points on the road where the soigneurs are going to be strategically placed. So at 16k, there's a soigneur at the side of the road giving bottles. Also at 67k, after the climbs, feed, sprint, then another two places on the road where there are bottles. And quite often, if there's any spares that can be picked up from the side of the road after the riders have gone past, the team car will pick those up to make sure they give them to the riders who've missed out through those extra little feeds. So a little bit of a strategy marked on the, uh, on the middle of the steering wheel there. All teams, of course, will have race radio. I think this is the race radio. Then they'll also have this one as well. And this is the intercom that basically the direct sportif or whoever decides to speak to the riders will actually communicate with the riders and they can actually talk back. And quite often cars or some team cars will have a third radio system as well just to talk between team cars. Let's have a close look at what is in the side of the door here. Unsurprisingly, lots of suntan cream and then really easy access, loads of gels ethics gels here. There's also lots of bars and stuff. Also little packets of uh, sport gummies. So obviously easy access. The direct sport team can wind the window down. Rider comes alongside, hand them straight out the window. Let's have a look in the center console here. We've got some uh, breath mints in there. Now, wonder what these are? These are numerous pairs of women's stockings. Now basically what these are used for, they'll take them out, they'll have a cool box in the back, fill these with ice on really hot stages, of which we've seen several already on this year's Tour de France, fill them up with ice, tie a knot to them, hand them through the window, and the riders will stick them down the back of their jersey, and it will slowly melt and cool them down as they ride along. Got some more suntan cream and energy products on the side there, a race manual. So now, let's head into the back where the mechanic lives. So, we're in the back where mechanic sits. Now, one thing that is absent because we are on a rest day today is two sets of wheels. They generally have two fronts and two back wheels here. But what we do have is, first off, a full portable mechanics tool set as well. So everything they will need out on the road. That's just there. Couple of towels, some spare radios as well. Next up, on a headrest directly in front of where the mechanic sits is firstly a TV screen so they can watch the race unfold and they'll learn a lot of information from that as well. And secondly, just on top of the headrest itself is a map 
of where the bikes are situated on the roof. So basically the mechanic can jump out of the car and know exactly where the bike is of the rider that's just suffered a mechanical or a puncture. Just in the footwell to the back of the driver here, there's another cool box, just absolutely jam-packed full of energy products to hand out to the riders. And of course, the people in the car, if they get particularly hungry on a long stage. And just down here, we have, well, an oily rag. No mechanics area is complete without, of course, an oily rag. We've got the spare bin liners for all the rubbish to keep the car nice and tidy. Got some chain lube as well. Often see bikes needing lubrication, especially midway through a wet stage when things dry up. We don't want a squeaking chain out on the road. And some more tights to put some ice in. And finally, or in French, en finalement, let's have a look in the boot. Okay, well straight away inside we've got all of the wet bags. There'll be two team cars in a race convoy, team car number one and team car number two. But in both of the team cars will be a wet bag for every rider. Now this is team car number two, so unsurprisingly they're all marked two. So this is the wet bag of Roman Kreuziger. Of course pretty hefty, clearly marked up wet bag. So if Roman Kreuziger were to ride alongside and want some gloves, who's ever in the back can have a look, go straight to the glove section and get out a nice pair of thick gloves to keep him warm. Again, one of the main things about the team car is easy and rapid access to all of the things that the riders need whilst out on the road. I love these, super cool. Let's have a look what else Roman's got in there. There we've got spare glasses in there, overshoes, gloves, even spare socks. And importantly as well, the riders generally in these bags will also have a spare pair of cycling shoes. So they'll have two pairs of shoes whilst out on the road. All you need is a nasty tumble, break the cleat off your shoe, unless you've got a spare pair of shoes, it's game over. Now whilst nosing around the back in the boot, I've spotted this. Now believe it or not, I think this is a hack, or is it a bodge? It's a towel taped together with some electrical tape, and I think it's a lumbar support for the mechanic on those long days sat in the back seat. Also back here, if we just move some of these wet bags out of the way, we've got another fully fledged mechanics toolbox as well. And also, although it isn't here today, the general will be an enormous cool box filled with ice and filled with cold drinks, generally cans of Coke and bead-ons for the riders on the long stage as well. Also just to my left in this webbing, got a couple of spare Scott helmets. Two in there, again, you just never know what's gonna happen out on the road. And of course, the ubiquitous musettes. So there you go, a look at what makes and helps a team tick on a grand tour stage. Now, if you don't want to miss another Global Cycling Network video, then click on the globe and you won't. And it's absolutely free. Now, for another team car tour, how about clicking just down here for a team car tour at this year's Giro d'Italia of the Team Sunweb Mini. Or if you click just down here, you can see me going along on a rest day ride at last year's Giro d'Italia with Orica Scott.